Hi guys, welcome to Step Up Lives. This video is a small, simple flowchart for international travelers who will be traveling from at-risk countries into the border of India. What is going to be the guideline? Simply explained in a flowchart. It will be simple to understand. If you're new to the channel, then subscribe with the bell icon. And if you like the video, then definitely share it with your friends and comment your thoughts. First step is to actually mandatory fill up the self-declaration form and uploading a negative RT-PCR report for all international travelers. Second step is going to be the airline will ensure that negative RT-PCR report is insured before traveling. Now coming to the decision boxes for travelers coming from at-risk countries have to go through a negative RT-PCR testing on arrival. Now everybody was wondering what are the list of countries which are at risk. This is the list I am putting on the screen. Countries in Europe including United Kingdom, South Africa, Brazil, Bangladesh, Botswana, China, Mauritius, New Zealand, Zimbabwe, Singapore, Hong Kong and Israel. This is the list updated as per 26th of November 2021. So if you are travelling from any of those places, you will be considered as traveller from at risk country. If the test is negative, you will be recommended home quarantine for 7 days and a retest on the 8th day and if negative self-help monitoring has to be done on 7 days. If testing is positive after 7 days, then you have to go through this right side protocol. Looking at the flowchart of if tested positive, the sent sample will be sent for genome testing, admission to a separate isolation facility and treatment as per the late protocol of the standard right now. Discharge at the discretion of the treating physician if the genomic testing is negative, that is the Omicron variant. If positive for the new variant, strict isolation treatment will be followed. Coming to the travelers who are coming in from other countries that I just mentioned, which are not at risk, a, ramble to, a random 2% sample of travelers will be taken to undergo the RT-PCR test. If found negative, will be allowed health monitoring for 14 days. If found positive, will be evaluate for genome testing and treatment this is going to be the complete flow chart an important thing to note that children under age of 5 will be exempted for pre and post arrival testing only if found symptomatic of covid-19 will undergo testing these are the things that are currently the guidelines for traveling from any other country into india if you like this video share it with your friends and comment your thoughts and like the video as well thank you so much